This is uh, intended to be a quick tutorial on how we got these balloons working in Blender. Um, we originally did this for our daughter's fifth birthday. She really loves this Dambo character. Um, she's got the little toy and comics and what have you. Um, and we thought it would be a good opportunity to use the experimental tomato camera tracking part of the blender um, so she could see D Dambo kind of come to life and wish her a happy birthday in, a, in her own front room and the only comments we really got back weren't about the track camera tracking it was about um, how did you get those balloons to do that so can, and could you do a quick tutorial so here is the quick tutorial it was actually pretty easy um, it's Really, it's just a cloth modifier with uh, negative gra gravity, but uh, there's a few little d difficulties. Like if you want to um, have a um, have them affected by an armature, like here, that when they wave their hands around, the the balloons react properly. So let's get started. Um, just delete that cube. Make sure the screencast on there so you can see what keys I'm pressing so if we add a UV sphere to make our balloon um, this isn't a modeling tutorial so forgive me if I do a, a dodgy looking balloon um, proportional editing So that looks enough balloon like. So I'll delete that vertex down there. Uh, I guess I better make it look a little bit more like a balloon. Extrude that into the Z, scale it down. Uh, extrude in the Z again. Extrude in the Z and scale it up. Scale it right down. And now I'll extrude a uh, string. So oh, I didn't lock that to the Z axis. So here we go. Hope this isn't too tiresome to watch. So that should about do for now. So that's our balloon. I'd better um, set the shading to smooth. So there we have our balloon. Uh, take this. Um, see if I can get this 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 floor display off. There we go. So I'm just going to go into edit mode and subdivide the string um, I'm just using my mouse wheel here to to add more cuts I think this should be should be okay for now and there we go so that's the balloon basically modeled now if we go to Add a cloth modifier. Um, and we'll just bake that in now and see what the, the, the what would happen if you just left it as is. So we'll just bake that in. Wait for it to bake that. And 
you can see it just drops. So to fix that, we free the bake and set the cloth field weights and we just set gravity instead of being positive one to be minus one. And that would make the balloon, that, that will just do the opposite of what we've seen and you'll see the, blo the balloon float up. But what we actually want to do is to have the balloon um, pinned by the string. So the way we do this is we go into edit mode, uh, vertex select mode, and we just select border select these uh, vertices down here. Go into object data, add a new vertex group. I'm going to call this pin and assign those uh, vertices to that vertex group. Um, come out of edit mode now. And in pinning here, we select pinning and select that vertex group pin. So now if we bake, this uh, vertex at the bottom should be pinned so it won't move. So then if we scrub along the timeline, it's trying to float away. Still a couple of things wrong with this. Uh, firstly, we'll see, we'll see things much better if we rotate it on the side a little. So then we'll see it floating better, floating better. And the other thing is we need to free the brake, brake, brake again so we can rebake it. Uh, these settings, uh, the structural stiffness and the bending, you'll want to play with the structural stiffness and the bending depending on the effect that you want from your balloon and also the size, the size of it and if you've got, I've got, I haven't even got any subsurf modifiers on there at the moment um, just to make this quick. So I'm going to just take the bending all the way up to the maximum value uh, you, you, you can ha experiment with these but for now this is just the settings that I'm going to use and then I'm going to bake it again and you scrub along the timeline and that really is looking and reacting and behaving more like a balloon now Alt A to play, just to play the timeline and the animation. So already that's looking pretty good. And then one of the one of the things that took us a while to figure out was how to uh, have somebody like hold this balloon in their hands and move it around. So I'll show you how to do that. Also, so. We'll add a armature, single bone should do, get that roughly positioned where the string is, that should do well for us. So we select the balloon add a new modifier to it, an armature modifier um, and <clears throat> it needs to be above the cloth modifi modifier or this isn't going to work and we need to stick a select, I'm, I'm going to edit mode of the blue now, selecting all the vertices with the A key and making a new vertex group, I'll just call that all And assign all, all of those vertex into those into that group. Out of edit mode and back to the modifier and select all. Uh, 
Um, and it's not going to show us anything unless this armature moves. So I'm going to scrub along the timeline to, let's say, this point here. Uh, pop into pose mode. Press I to insert a keyframe, uh, lock rock, location, rotation, and scale. And then scrub along to maybe 180, and we will rotate this a little bit at this point. And I again to insert a keyframe. Just check that's working. Yeah. Okay. And then back to the cloth modifier. Uh, so select the balloon again and then to the physics button free the bake again and bake wait while that bakes and hopefully now you can see that that Armature has changed, as if as if that's an arm holding the holding the balloon. So play that animation through. I think that could have been a bit a little more dramatic. Um, Let's uh, rotate it a little bit harder, a little bit more there. See if that does anything a little more dramatic. Um, free bake and bake. There, that's better. That's uh, that's kind of more about more more what you'd expect. So I'll play that animation through. Um, while we're here, we may as well increase the timeline and run that simulation a little longer. Um, so let's do say 500 frames um, free the bake and let's go up to 500 frames here as well and what I'll probably do is I'll stick a uh, I'll stick Dambo in again and a few more balloons and Make a few changes to this and put in, put a little demo of of adding more uh, you know more balloons and having balloons collide collide with each other and just a little bit more. But this is this is this is this will basically get you there. Um, There we go. I'd pro I'd, I'd want to change those weights, the, 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 those weights a little bit. Make the uh, add some structural stiffness to the um, to the string because it's uh, it's not looking quite right there. Or uh, and as well, make probably make that uh, some changes to the to the mesh as well. But that should get you there. If you do if you do any um, if you use this and make any animations, I'd love to see them. So, you know, drop me a mail at alex at matica.com. I'd like to see them. So, I hope you found this useful.